Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemical Engineering and S1 channel. Today we will be focusing on an important part for which I have been asked multiple questions or I have been asked multiple times about how to get the S1 HiSys user certification. You can see I am already an S1 certified user and I got the certification in the year 2022. So how you can get the S1 HiSys certification? Obviously the purpose of this video is to guide you about the necessary steps on getting the certification and i wish that all of my viewers either these are subscribers or those who have not subscribed yet all of you get the s1 hisis certification so we will go one by one on all the steps and i will describe how you can get the s1 certified user certification in s1 hisis so first you need to understand the grading criteria that you need to get the 70% marks in order to be S1 certified user, number one. The weightage of the multiple choice questions will be 40%, while there will be a lab exam in which an activity will be assigned to you. And after performing that activity, you will ha have to answer the few questions and that weightage contains 60%. Now, if you look at this, at how you can prepare for that, one by one, we will go at each point. Number one is to explore properties environment. In component list, you are able to create a component list. You are able to identify the different component databases which are available and you are able to add the hypothetical components. Once I had given the test, I did not add any hypothetical component, but since I have given test a few years back, so maybe in recent time, they also ask you, to add hypothetical component but at least you should be able to add the components or you should know the procedure of how the components can be added if it is asked in a multiple choice question then in physical property package you should be able to define a property package you should be able to identify different property packages which are available we had discussed three major types which are equation of state activity coefficient and special models and then the assigned component list to specific property methods. Then in petroleum assays, you should be able to identify the methods which are available in S1 HiSys for characterizing the crude assay. You should be able to list down the steps to characterize the crude assay and you should be able to recognize the difference between two methods available for characterizing crude assay. If I could remember, petroleum assay was not part of the lab work but uh, MCQ or maybe a couple of MCQs were asked for from this part. So you should be able to prepare for this as well. Now coming to the second point, which is explore simulation environment. Unit sets, you should be able to recognize the default unit sets. Obviously, SI units are default or English could be default, but you should be able to identify which are the unit sets which are available in the system, how to select and which of the unit set are suitable for your system. Then you should be able to manipulate the flow sheet. How you can manipulate the flow sheet? You should be able to connect the material streams to the unit operations. You should be able to understand the color scheme. You can illustrate the flow sheet object color scheme. You should be able to display the stream labels. These are all parts available in S1 HiSys. Identify transferring process information and object options. You should be able to understand or you should be able to configure and customize the user preferences. Then you should be able to illustrate the case management, the case studies options, and how you can create and install a template file. You should be able to understand in the manipulate flow sheet option. Again, some of these were asked in the lab work and some of these were asked in the MCQs work, but all of these are pretty important regarding the stream flow sheeting. And we have discussed all these parts in our previous videos on S1 HiSys. Now, if you come to the mathematical or logical operations, you should be able to identify which are the logical operations available in it. If you remember, we had discussed set, we had discussed adjust tool, how we can use the adjust tool, how we can use the spreadsheet tool. So you should be able to select these tools, identify these tools and how you can use it. These will be asked in your test. Coming to the separation equipment, these are very important part. Identify the key differences in three phase separator operation that you have to identify that we, there are different phase separators, two phase separator, three phase separator. So how you can differentiate it between 
them and if you i remember there was a particular mcq related to it how you can define the pressure drop across a vessel how you can identify or you can calculate the heat loss in a vessel how you can calculate the carryover model in separated operation if i remember particularly this was not part of my test but it could have been part of your test again as i have said that it was a couple of years ago which i when i have given the test so it could be part of it as well then you should be able to define a specified geometry and orientation of vessel then you should be able to configure a component splitter to separate component streams based on split fraction specified and this was the part of the lab work if i correctly remember it so the separation operation is very much important once we talk about the espenhysis test then coming to the heat transfer operation if you remember there are certain heat transfer operations available heater cooler heat exchanger and lng exchanger as well and edr available as well so you should be able to solve all of these exchangers and how you can uh, prepare for it you should be able to identify various heat transfer operation as i have told you then you should be able to specify which are the parameters which you need to specify for heater or a cooler to converge for example you have to specify temperature pressure vapor fraction so and duty so you have to define any two then you have to define or describe the different heat exchanger models analyze the performance of heat exchanger this part should be or could be in the labor part then identify the heat transfer operation that can be integrated with edr tool obviously the rigorous heat exchanger would be used here and then you could be asked to perform rigorous heat transfer calculation using edr the heat transfer operation is again a vital part both theoretically once we talk about the multiple choice questions and in the labor part as well then you should be able to identify the piping operations in piping operations recognize the pressure drop correlations options for different phases you can then identify different heat transfer operations for pipe segment flow assurances and you should be able to build a piping network again if i remember correctly this was the part in the mcqs but it could have been in the lab work as well then coming to the main part which is the column operations you should be able to identify the column templates which are available obviously the distillation column is available stripping section is available rectifying section is available and absorber is available as well and there are different options available then you should be able to identify which are the parameters which you need to provide in order to converge the column and this part will definitely be in your lab work as well then you should be able to analyze the degree of freedom obviously with doubt making degree of freedom as zero you should can't solve the column then the side operations then column internal analysis and accordingly the column side operations again these column operations are very much part of both lab work and mcq half of it or part of it will be asked in the lab work and part of it will be asked in mcq based then coming to the rotating equipment you should be able to identify the rotating equipment what are those rotating equipment compressor turbine pumps list the different compressor operating modes again screw compressor and centrifugal compressor these could be asked that what type of compressor could be used for what application or how to switch between the compressors then identify what kind of compressor curve can, can be added in the model again it's an important part how you can link compressor and expanders performance curves and compressor and expander linkage again these are the important parts so rotating equipment column operations piping operations separations and heat transfer these are the five important parts once we talk about espenhysis test however uh, please note there will be no part from the reactor operations so this is why this is a very basic test as once we go to the expert part obviously we need the actor operation as well going to the stream analysis you should be able to identify or list down the different stream analysis options then you should be able to perform stream analysis to get the required information again this part would most likely be included in your lab work then equipment design you should be able to identify the calculation type for pipe sizing and available specification for vessel sizing it's an important part and then the case study part that you could be asked 
to vary one parameter and check its effect on the other parameters. So this is an important part once we talk about the lab work especially. Then going to the reporting, how you go to report it, you should be able to identify or should be able to know that what are the reporting options available in S1 HISIS, how you can complete or put the data in HISIS workbook, how can you can use the report manager, how you can use the correlation manager and how you can use the data table. So these are the reporting options which are very much important once we talk about the S1 HISIS. And in final remarks, I can say that you can follow our channel to get S1 HISIS user certification. I have tried my level best to put all the videos and if you go to the S1 HISIS related videos on the channel and if you solve all the concepts or solve all the simulations, I am very much sure that you will be able to get the S1 HISIS user certification. So I wish you all the best related to the test and I wish that all of my viewers, either they are subscribers or not, they all of them get the certification. So I hope you have understood all the aspects of this important topic. If you have any queries, feedback, suggestion, please provide it in the comment box and I would be happy to answer. So that's it from today's lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned for more exciting videos on this channel.